Democratic presidential candidate Mike Bloomberg returned to Norfolk today, pushing for Virginia votes ahead of next month's primary. 13 News Now reporter Evan Watson interviewed Bloomberg about how his military policy will affect Hampton Roads. Evan joins us now here in the studio. Evan. Bloomberg is trying to win over voters by contrasting his leadership style with President Trump's. Today, he criticized the president's discipline and military policy at his latest Norfolk stop. Democratic presidential candidate Mike Bloomberg is refining his argument to Virginia voters, saying his leadership style is superior to President Trump's. Our country today is not getting the executive leadership that we need. Campaigning in Norfolk again, less than a month before Virginia's Super Tuesday primary, Bloomberg criticized Trump's foreign policy and unilateral actions. When the commander in chief has no discipline, those who serve in the military are put at risk and we cannot accept that. He told 13 News Now that his new military policy calls for VA and health care improvements. Number one, taking care of military families. I've thought we've underfunded the VA for a very long time and we haven't kept up in giving the kind of services that are needed going forward. Bloomberg picked up a notable endorsement. I do believe Mike can get it done. Richard Spencer, the former Secretary of the Navy under Trump, endorsed Bloomberg for president. As a mayor, a businessman, and through his philanthropic work, he has proven his support for our troops and our veterans. Bloomberg's strategy is focused on the upcoming Super Tuesday primaries. For him, it's all about Super Tuesday or bust. He's either got to do really well in Super Tuesday or he's probably out. He's spending millions on ads to appeal to voters in places like Hampton Roads. Our analyst Quentin Kidd said he, is, he expects Bloomberg to return to Virginia and Hampton Roads before the March 3rd primary. In studio, Evan Watson, 13 News Now.